Well, good evening, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve and Angela Collins coming to you this Saturday evening from San Antonio, Texas. The second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are ready for a fantastic Saturday. Your messy best or your cleanest worst. Your messy best or your cleanest worst. Most people have a lifestyle that shows up on accident, meaning very few people are incredibly intentional about the life they're building and the life they are living. Most people are living life by default and not by design. Now, by the way, this is not a problem because that is a very, very, very comfortable life until you look at yourself in the mirror and you're unhappy with your relationship or you look at yourself in the mirror and you realize that you're 80 pounds overweight or you look at your spouse in the eyes and realize that there is a broken down machine there. You see, the challenge of living a life by default is that the circumstances you find yourself in, you tend to acquiesce to and just accept that that's just the way that it is because of a habit. All because of a habit. And what is that habit? That habit is refusing to make a decision to take action even though your best will look like a mess. Let me say that one more again. Refusing to take action because your very best may look like a mess. It likely will because if you are going to do something you've never done in a way you have never done it before, let's say work on your marriage or let's say work on your body or let's say work on your finances. If you are going to invest in say working on your teenagers or your relationships, you must be willing to feel like crap in the process as you give your messy best. Most people are unwilling to step out and give their messy best. They would rather show up with their cleanest worst. Their cleanest worst, what does that look like? That looks like staying in a default life and making excuses, but it's clean because I don't have any pressure. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to think about myself. Like Dave Ramsey says, people who are in a huge financial mess they're in bad, bad shape. They're kind of like babies with a crap diaper. The baby's are like, I know it stinks. I know it stinks, but it's warm and it's all mine. Leave me alone. I understand the comfort of hanging out in your situation because maybe you have become comfortable with living below what you are able to live in because you become more comfortable with the crap and the stink than with the pain of doing something different that will show up in your life very messy, even though it's your best. You would rather choose to wallow in the self-pity of your cleanest worst. Your cleanest worst requires no effort. Your cleanest worst requires no energy. Your cleanest worst requires no commitment on your part to go hard in the paint to make a decision to live and act differently. Have you heard the old adage, the road to hell is paved with what? Not politicians, good intentions. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Intentions mean nothing without action and activity behind them. So what is the difference between having an intention and taking an action? Well, I would argue that it begins with believing that it's okay to show up with your messy, messy, messy best than to show up with your cleanest worst. Because as clean as it is, it sucks. Because it ain't getting you where you want to get. It ain't taking you where you want to go. It hasn't delivered what you want in your life. Do not settle for the cleanest worst. Please be willing to be really crappy at something for a very long time before you get good at it. After all, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about your life. Will you show up with your messy best until it becomes amazing? Only.